Hey everyone, this is Severo from Severo Music Studios. Thank you for joining us on this episode. We are in Mitchell's Plains. Specifically, we are in Portland at the Indoor Center, which happens to be an epicenter for big events of this community. Today, we're here in association with MoJam. And behind the camera, we have Alex K Visuals. So today is very special. Why? Because today is official. It is the trailer release for the movie we've been waiting for for a whole year already. This is a Blue Patel 2. Uh, tonight we're not only going to feature the official trailer but also some of our local artists such as Arlene Peterson, the big rapper Mr. MP, a resident of this area. But tonight is all about um, supporting our local artists and the high caliber of entertainment in the form of acting for a very Hollywood style movie produced locally independently from a man right in the heart of Mitchell's Plain. But right now let's dive right into the action to see what's happening inside and how our cast members arrive in style. Right now we are standing in the center of the car park waiting for the Dreamcast to arrive. You know how things go, they're the stars of the show, they want to make their grand entrance. The sun is already down, everyone's excited, there's so many people waiting to still go inside. The doors haven't officially opened but the show hasn't started until the stars arrive. Guys, you would not believe who we ran into right outside. I'm standing here with Mr. MP. If, if that's correct? Yes, that's correct. And he is actually going to be one of the entertainers tonight. Not, he, not only is he one of the entertainers, every great action movie has to have their own soundtrack. And this gentleman right here made, uh, is the main artist of the soundtrack called Blue Patel, correct? Yes, yes. So, you, so is, the, is the song closely based to the movie? Yes, the song is um, closely based to the movie. It's basically, um, I get the trailer from the movie to look and I make a lot of to the movie is that I can stand for the movie so funny locations where the movie was suited. Um, I was always able to get the movie to the movie and for me to say that I'm a movie. I'm a storyteller in, in movies and in, in, in music, basically. And that I, as a quiet song, my dream was always to say a song van my moet in a movie speel wanneer is wanneer een movie uit is maar als ze bij je goed voor is om je in te movie team song van een movie te kunnen maken so basically it, it just tells you about the movie and yeah no, absolutely, I agree that you're a great story storyteller. As we, we follow each other on Instagram, yes. that's right. I met this man uh, quite a few months ago. He didn't realize I was taking pictures of him. Yes. But you look different, man, without uh, the hair. Where, where, where did that go to? Is it a new development in life? Uh, yeah, it's a new development. Um, I actually see a photo that I made. But a lot of people have before me known as the Dice Zone. But now the good thing is the music video and the music that is out. As I know all the Dice Zone, so people must judge me over the CSX. Yo, yo, I didn't recognize you, and that is just a bit, but I just wanted to do it, get rid of it for a moment. Yeah, no, no that's all good. Now we all, we all go through the phases. But tell us, well, well, what are you going to actually perform tonight? Um, I'm actually going to perform the theme song, only the theme song. Um, so to blend it in, basically to, to tell you the uh, story while the music video is playing, then you can see um, in what is the movie about. And it's just a small idea of it. So this is the biggest promo that you're actually going to to see right now with the movie actually moving forward. Thank you Mr. MP. Thank you very much. So right now, finally, as you can see, the people are waiting for the stars themselves to arrive. The limo has just pulled up as well as this APC AC Cobra replica. Mr. Boris, how are you tonight? Yo, I'm good yourself, brother. That's good, good to see you, sir. Woo! Mr. Justin Bottoms, known as Mr. Detective McDonald. Lovely. And they are pulling up right now. The stars of the show are pulling up right now in this Mercedes limo. Let us see who we have in the car. Other people, how are you doing? Severe Music Studios here. We, we're right here for, uh, we just like to have an exclusive interview. Uh, 
How did you support us tonight? I met a Yasaka. We'll see you guys inside. One exclusive moment, we are moments away from going inside. Let's roll with the stars. This is my this is my point of fame right now. So this is wonderful, wonderful. And how are you feeling tonight? Oh, a bit nervous, but still excited. It's been about a year since uh, since this yeah, was it's shot. Been a year. It's been a year. And this is fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Let's 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 everyone move inside. You, you, oh. Everyone move out the way. You are not important. You are the star right here. <laughs> Winter. Winter, are you excited? Yes. Uh, uh, are you going to see yourself in the movie? Yes. Okay, and uh, show us your moves one more time. Give me the pose. Oh! <laughs> so nice to see you. And running right into my arms right now was the script right of the show, Priscilla. And how do you yes. feel tonight? I am very excited. I can't wait for everybody to see the movie. Um, it's just surreal that it's finally coming together and everybody's going to be able to see the trailer, right? Um, tonight. Um, we haven't really seen it. Yeah, you, even you yeah, as the script right, I haven't it. seen it. So I'm excited, guys. Yes, I'm so excited. <laughs> great, great to see you and we'll see you inside. See you inside. And we have the internet sensation right here, Mr. Dylan. I can't remember the last name. Wannenberg. Wannenberg, that is right. How do, you, how do you feel tonight, man? Excited and keen for the new journey. It's been almost like a year since you even shot it. Do you even remember what you're doing? <laughs> Not really, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see you inside. Thank you very much. Right now, the atmosphere is absolutely infectious. It is spreading all around. People can't help but speak in their highest tone because of the excitement of not seeing each other. Like I said to a couple of them, it's been almost a year or over a year since the movie has actually been completed. And only now we are beginning to see the trailer. So everyone, as you can imagine, after a year has passed since this project has started, is very excited to, to see what the outcome is, at least in form of the trailer. We can't even imagine what the premiere of the actual movie is going to be like. But for right now, I'm standing with all the fabulous stars. Let us all unite in one place. And right here we are standing with Arlene Peterson. For those of you who frequent Severity Music Studios have seen her on my podcast and you see me interview and everything else. How do you feel tonight? I am excited. I'm nervous. I am on top of the world. Like I am performing here tonight. So I still have that pre-performance jitters and then still movie release. Like on top of that, that sounds like a nice life problem because like... <laughs> What the heck? I mean, your life has been so busy that it's been really blowing up. Uh, project after project after project. You hear, you, then you're there. And now coming to this, I mean, it's just a cherry on top, isn't it? I never thought this would be possible. Like with the first lockdown, I was like, this is it. This is it. What is the artist even? Yeah. And now for me to get to do this with everyone here behind me, like, it's amazing. It's mind blowing. I, I read something somewhere that um, you, have, you have a particular starring role in the movie, right? And it actually has a funny connection to what you might have done with your life in the first place. Tell us about that. So I get to play a warden and I actually um, try to be a warden. Like I applied to be one and it was unsuccessful. And then the movie was like, you know what? Try to try. So now we've finally come full circle. Thank you, Arlene Peterson. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I, I see you finally returned to Mojam. How does it feel? Oh, it's great. Um, what can I say? Look at everyone. Um, it's nice to see everyone. Up, man, we oh. all missed you so much. <laughs> yeah, um, no, uh, it's definitely great to be back um, and seeing everybody again. And I hope it's going to be a great event. Yeah, uh, for for those of you guys who are still again frequent the Video Music Studios, the channel has seen them do the exclusive interview for for Blue Petal 2, which was a small little reunion with you guys. But now it's the whole community is back together. Yeah, definitely. So Video Music Studios standing at the premiere of the the premiere of the trailer release for Blue Petal 2. I'm standing here with local personality. You know him from radio. You know him from stand up from every as Mr. Wayne McKay. How are you tonight? I'm absolutely fantastic. It's just great to be here. Um, kind of long overdue. Um, we've been waiting now for quite a while for 
for this trailer. Hopefully the movie will be coming out as well. Yes. So we're excited, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's all about hope and I, I hope we all can enjoy it tonight as well. Um, for you at all, mm. right? And how, how did you find uh, stepping to this acting thing? Because this, this is definitely not new for you. So how was this experience to maybe others? Well, um, well, I, I really enjoyed it because obviously it's a different take on, on what is expected. Mm -hmm. And as uh, from the director's point of view and what he's, he's asked me to do and how to develop the character, I thought, okay, make it my own. And that's what he asked for and that's what I did. But uh, speaking about that, it's not new for me. Yes, I've been doing some, uh, whether it's from commercials, doing acting work, um, many years ago um, this is uh, just to go get back into the saddle to be able to do some acting I find it quite interesting and, and it's just liquid just to be able to do it again and I would expect no less I've seen this man go, go live many times the energy has never left this man thank you again Mr. Wayne McKay thank you very much sir. see you inside Alright. Right. Right. Music Studios I'm standing at the opening of the opening of the trailer release of Blue Patel 2 I cannot believe we're here right now the atmosphere is ecstatic but standing outside will not be a true representation of what the vibe is really like so let's take a look inside and see what it's really like oh. What did I say? The vibe is absolutely through the roof right now. What uh, what's happening right now is they're first having short promos and little talks before the actors are going to make their, their own grand entrance. Right now, local comedian Arlene Peterson is doing a short <laughs> is doing a short bit to get everyone warmed up and in the spirits. Let's take a listen. Right now, Arlene is still doing her comedy bit and she is killing it right now. It is an absolute uh, scorcher of a night, as you can see. I'm spitting, so forgive the shine. But let's listen in more on Arlene's little comedy bit. I'm going to eat it in your ears, I'll give it for your crap. 
so amazing man it's crazy how all these things happen ladies and gents uh, right now we are looking at an uh, interview to get an in-depth look at uh, the cast members the cast members are not even seated at the table yet but they will be coming out soon after we watch this we still have another performance from mr uh, mp but so far the night is going great we have also some uh, prestigious and important people um, in attendance tonight and we will get their reaction too let's keep watching
the audition was really good. Like I waited in the queue, but it was like so worthwhile because when I went in there, it was just like a, I got the whole feeling from Mark and the other um, judges or casting people. And it was just like for me, I felt like I did a good job in my interview, so it was very good. My name is Salman Swit. I was the first of the Rosenwald in the Polen, but I play a lot of jazz in the Kaap. Yeah, I was a friend of mine, who was also a follower of my characters on Facebook, and for me, the pamphlet was still on WhatsApp. And that's how I was going to say, oh, this is a good one. I would say I was a bit nervous. To get I saw that all of them come, and I see the long queues. And with the geduld, I get my strength on the line. And to get I need a long drive, but it's not too much to say. Be so geduldig and I'll stand in my lane. Set your name on the list. My name is Steven Eagleson and I'm all the way from Eastern Europe. Hey yo, I left home 6 o'clock in the morning to take taxi to town. Uh, got in town I think around about past 7 uh, and then I had to walk back all the way to Woodstock uh, because the, the interview was taking place at the Grill Ford. Uh, I think it was number 28 to be exact, yeah. Got the place was packed. Um, and <laughs> I was nervous as I was sitting there because all these people is there and I didn't know it was uh, if I was ready but I just when they called me up and I went in and I just went all out of the audition and uh, Mark's words was uh, that was that was really really nice of me because I, I got in there and I took out I took off my shirt and I just went all out <laughs> but it was great. <laughs> So, in a good world, you will find that a sport on the cars. Because the people that are not druggies, that are not drunks, and that are not scholies, they are the people that make our campus function. The interview is here as a prime example of all the gems in our neighborhoods. So, for now, I would like to introduce everybody that has got. So take a look at these faces, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at these faces. This is the faces that's going to make us proud. We have a standing ovation from the crowd. Look at all these people. Take a look at these faces, ladies and gentlemen. On everyone. It is an absolute madhouse. Right now they're, they're going to talk about their experiences on set of Lupital 2. Okay, my name is Wayne McKay. I also just just walked past the girl father um, on that day when he was by Oma. And uh, I wanted to double whopper double 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 burger burger because I haven't eaten in two days. Because I was very hungry. As the only movie, not this only movie, yeah, okay. But it was warmer hips. And uh, I went for the audition and uh, I got in. Uh, thank you very much to Mark and the team. I played the role of the, the, was it the commander, the captain. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm just making sure because the way I was able to do it, I'm not free. But I was very well done, but it was a good experience. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm just sure you're going to enjoy the movie. Uh, otherwise, for my own little prank. But um, but yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity. And, uh, good evening, all. My name is Akita Knowles. I play the role of Margot, Captain's assistant, since you forgot his name. <laughs> I had so much fun playing this role. I would like to th say thank you to Mark for giving me the opportunity to, you know, um, be a part of it, that he made magic really. He knows exactly what he wants, he goes for it and he gets it. And I would like to say thank you to this crew. We really became a family. Outside of the parts, I was so excited because they look They're dancing. I was like, I'm in, I'm going fully in, you know. So thank you so much, Mark, for giving me this opportunity. 
opportunity and I am taking it so far that I know. Thank you so much. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mandy Sass. I play Tiffany Tips in Blue Patel 1 and 2. <laughs> um, I'm also the behind the scenes photographer for the movie or for Mojam. So yeah, thank you from my side to Mark Matruis as well. It's wonderful working with these awesome people standing in front of us. Thank you for everyone that came out tonight. It was really amazing to see how it actually goes or plays out. Um, yeah, and also thank you to everyone for coming out tonight and to the cast for always being there for me when I need them to be. But I feel like I must say, kijk hier na interview ik het al op in fiction geëet, nou daar heb ik op om al op geëet, maar nee, dat is weg, dankie, dankie. But I want to say thank you to Mark, because even though I am a professional stand-up comic, I go audition, audition after audition after audition, and it's a no after a no, niet tot die derde mag zo maar, but Mark took a, uh, he Mark took a chance on me, and I, I, I'm honored to one day, one day in the future say, my acting career started with Mojam, because that's never going to change, that's going to be in my bio one day. So. Um, it's been a great honor to um, have played in Rupital, the, the second one, and I want to thank Mark because he's been so kind throughout the auditions, throughout the, um, the shooting of the movie, and even till this day, so I appreciate you, Uncle Mark. Hello everyone, my name is, my name is Azri Van Mert. Um, ik kan nog een duit wat eerste, ik was eerst aan in mijn periode, die is mijn laatste tijd ook. En zoals ik nou kan zien, sta ik nog altijd die laatste. So, um, I'm actually one of the manskappen, maar ik lijkt wel allemaal eens in die tronk, so. Ik moet alleen staan, um, en ik kan wait for you to see the trailer. En ik kan wait to see the cinema also, thank you. Goedemiddag allemaal, mijn naam is John Jacobs. Ik speel een van die runners in die movie, samen met Mikaela. Ik wil net voor allemaal die kaas met me zeggen, baie dankie. Die eerste dag, ik het rechtig gewiet wat om te verwachten. En as jy kijk soos iemand met Tevin, Tevin waar jy is, die kijk? Yes, daar is hy. Tevin is, soos jy kan sien, tattoos, groot gebouw, maar Tevin het een baie zachte haarkie. En ek denk, een mens, zaad sy mense gaan toe, oor hoe jy hulle sien, maar as jy rechtig mense leer ken, sy hy sien, dat is baie baie meer aan mense as wat jy die voorkom sien en so en jy wil vir die baie dankie sê vir die tyd wat ek saam met jylle was en baie dankie vir die mense wat ek gekom het vanaan vir jylle moet ek wel aan vir jy vir die Afrikaans gee my bykie soeibra en ek dankie ons het genoeg kevis kon nie in die gebou nie. So, it's been a privilege to be part of Mojam since Bloed Betaal 1. We're a small family until we grew into this massive family and see in front of us now. So, from Bloed Betaal 1 to Bloed Betaal 2, Mark has touched a lot of people and he's given a lot of people a chance that none of us knew that we'll ever get grew up in Mitchell's Plain, where did you ever think you're gonna be in the cinema, face on the big screen? So, Mark, met al die grijs haar het in my gegeer het, dankie, baie. Hello, my name is Nairin Sias. I play the role of Captain Mills in Blue Patel 1 and Blue Patel 2. Um, what can I say? I'm truly grateful from the bottom of my heart to Mr. Mark for giving us all this opportunity, not just me. And I'm so, so, so grateful to be a part of Mojam and where this is going. So, yeah, thank you, Mr. Mark. Good evening everyone, I'm Michaela Jackson. Firstly, I would like to say thank you to each and every one of you who are seated here for coming out to support us. Because trust me, our director didn't think that the seats will be filled. 
and like Arlene said that the acting career started with Mojam. I would just like to say that my career started with Mojam. So thank you to Uncle Mark for believing in each and every one of us that are standing here. Okay, I'm going to run a club for us. Evening everybody, my name is Justin Bordens. I play Detective McDonald. Um, yeah, what's your name for now? We echo after? Anyway, guys, you know, with Blue Buddha 1, we were like a few cast members. I don't think anything more than 10. And then standing here tonight, we are quite a big bunch. So, uh, advice man, it, Ian Man's a vision. And as I support it, fan, the Omo, it grows into something bigger. And I think that's it, that's my message for Omo for now. Um, if any of your kids or any one of your family members have a dream, if you support them, it turns into something like this. That's it. That's all from me. So thank you very much. Thank you. Severo Music Studios and we are still going with the, the, the premiere of the trailer release of Blue Petal 2. But just before the trailer is going to be viewed, we have Mr. MP doing some freestyle rap in, in front of the audience and he is killing it right now. And like he told us outside, he is going to perform the Blue Petal 2 soundtrack. Let's listen in.
the pinnacle of the evening. Hearing from the director, producer, editor, all around um, action man, Mr. Mark Matruz, who's not only a movie director, but is also actually a musician and all our entertainer. He's giving us uh, just some words before we actually watch the trailer. Absolutely awesome. Look at all two people. Hey, hey, 
We are back right now after the movie trailer. And what is happening? Mark is actually just handing out very sweet uh, certificates of appreciation to the cast members in, the, in attendance tonight. So what we may receive from what this movie may uh, develop into, nothing is more personal. Nothing is maybe more better than having something personal from the from the director himself. They got party poppers. Uh, let's show this to the camera. Just congratulations. Marcos just handed a very personal gift from the cast. But guys, thanks for coming out. Mr. Artisra, thank you. My main guy, John. But he's sounding like the dude. Hey, it's for my next go for an Can you look through? Hey, it's a mark. Keep on my hand up. I'm going to And an event in the city of Susie. Because Tim Day is around. Tim Day is around. It's Tim Day is around. And I'm going to say, Mark, I'm going to give you a friend. I'm going to give you a friend. I'm going to give you a friend. So I'm going to give you a friend. I'm going to give you a friend. I'm going to give you a friend. Niemand wordt betaald en alle we staan niet bezig wat ons wil doen om die jong mensen op te rekken. Wat is het voor jou? Vijf minuten of tien minuten van jou tijd te geven aan een jong mens. Het vat niks van jou af. Ons moet niet voelen dat als hij verdienen een scope niet, hij gaat bitter als mij ik zei niet. Als hij ik zei, wel, laat hij gaan, maar onhou net. Ons maakt het difference in ons mensen zijn leven. Het weer eens. Wil ik jullie allemaal dankie sê, want so dat jullie... Wij, so viro, hy staan hier. Wij kom ook dankie sê vir die camera. Hy toe kom, hy toe kom met het saartje. So hy vat die camera en die interview. So die mense sien waar my ons bezig is en hulle wil paard wees. En so viro, dat sê maak, ons gaan my red kapel boek doen vanaan. En so viro, thank you man, I appreciate you now. Coming all the way from Rivals Week. Now we're not Rivals Week. Retreat. Sien, sy kan nie my blij wees, sy sê alles dan. Retreat in Rivals Week. En dan wil ik ook vernieuwd dankie sê, jylle sal sien op die water staan, bloedbetaal water, is nou nie bloed wat jylle drinkie, maar as bloedbetaal toe hoort, is maar net die stieke, is net iets om jylle te remember. Het ek hier nou geen gemis, klappe haakjes daar, dankie gesê, sa, my vrou, baie dankie, dat hy so peisend is met my, en ek so, jylle dag kiet in die kamer, sa, sien my vrou, Anna Klok. Dankie vir allemaal, man, en ek hoop ek sien jylle, en jylle bring mense saam, by die, Ek geloo, nie te vers, en ek gaan in Grenwees weer wees. So stiek uit, ek gaan weer red kap op die wend wees. En ek hoop, ek sien jylle allemaal daar met nog mense. Na, so gee jylle sê aan, aan die klop. Staan op die maag van Lali van, gee hy my een rechte aan die klop. Hy maak het voor ons, dat hier sê jy de magic in all of us. So we're in Medic Studios, we are on the red carpet right now. Just watched uh, the Blood Patel 2 um, trailer. I'm standing here with... Abigail Jackson. Abigail Jackson is actually a good friend of mine. 
in a tennis tonight, always supporting the locals, especially Mark, right? Yes, definitely. He's one of our favorites in the local tennis. Now, uh, what did you actually think about the trailer? Wow, the trailer was short and sweet, but I'm eager to find out what's in the actual movie. But it really speaks of what happens in today's life, so I'm very eager to watch it. And where did you come all the way out from to, to see this? Ah, only Athlone. <laughs> <laughs> Our cameraman is uh, <laughs> celebrating as he's also an Athlone resident. But uh, thank you, uh, Abigail, for, for being in the tennis tonight and looking beautiful as always. We are back with, now, with again, one of the actors from Blue Patel 2. We have just watched the trailer. Was this the first time you saw the trailer? Very first time, sir. And I can tell you, I am in awe of what I've witnessed tonight. People is in for a treat, as I've said earlier on. I mean, I remember you from Blue Patel 1. Right. And, and how, was, how, how do you feel things have developed up to now? Like they said, you were only about a dozen people at first, and now you've grown to a, a, a huge people that needs a huge catering truck. Progress, 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 development, development. And it is so good to see actually how our producer have infected so many people with his vision. So I really am really very excited to see the full version of what we see tonight. Thank you very much for your time. And the ball keeps on rolling. I'm standing right now with the big man himself. Like they say, the director, producer, editor, you know, all-around entertainer. What else can you say, Mr. Mark Maluri Matros? How are you feeling? Thank you, thank you for my new name. Um, thank you, Subiro. Oh, thank you. Now, I mean, you, you were so excited tonight. You had to play the trailer twice. Definitely, definitely. It's the first time I'm so excited about a trailer. So, guys, what's out for this one? Okay, now it's always difficult to make a sequel so and so how do you think this will this will actually compare to the other one what do you think th what kind of element do you think there is that's gonna make this even better I think definitely there's we took more time with the guys if we're the acting with the roles with the scenes so I think there's gonna be more touching and it's gonna be you're gonna be more intrigued to the acting because we focus a lot more on acting and scenes and less fighting but there is some fighting and action in but I think that's gonna be the main thing how the actors involved evolve from blue Patel one to blue Patel two and I, and I also understand that there are actually all elements because everyone had their own sort of talent. Yeah. There was some, even in Blue Patel 1, there was some comedy stuff, there was some drama, there was some real sadness, depression, yeah. and absolute. Well, well, can we expect the same? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, I like to say a mingle mousse. We, we, we touch on, 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 on a lot of uh, subjects, social ills as well, uh, that you'll pick up in the movie. But um, basically, the movie is about revenge, as you see on the trailer, as you will see that the father takes revenge in, in part one and it actually comes back to him. So it also shows you that uh, taking revenge and law into your own hands isn't always a good idea. Oh, so, so for anything further, we have to see what the, the movie actually entails. So thank you, Mr. Matras. Thank you. Thank you, so thank you. I'm stood between two giants right now. I'm feeling so out of place. We are standing with the Wannabergs, a father and son um, duo, both starring in a film. Now, Mr. Wannenberg, you said you got this by luck. Have you ever done acting and all that before? Yeah, I did actually when I left school. I actually had my own drama school and I did a couple of plays at church walls and things, but nothing much, but like, I always loved acting. Yeah. All right. And I, I, <laughs> you took your role as, as a dancer, as we saw in the film and in the bloopers. Now, how was the whole experience for you? Well, I've been in uh, dancing stuff for all my life. I've taught probably about 15,000 people in my lifetime and it's something I really enjoy. So when I got the part as the instructor, I took it with both hands. Second nature. Wonderful stuff. Now we're moving on to, well, a, a lot of people may recognize, I certainly do from his uh, internet videos, was Dylan Wannenberg. Yeah. Now how did it feel afterwards when you, know, when you heard your dad got, uh, got a part as well? I was excited. I was like, we're going to do this together, you know? And um, always wanted, we always spoke about doing plays or acts together. So so that's actually our dream came true. Now acting is not a new thing for you, but did this um, role uh, flex your or, or, or challenge your acting uh, skills in any way? It actually did because I'm not a guy who likes to remember things. So I had to remember my lines and all those type of things. So yeah, it actually it was challenging for me, but I enjoyed it, definitely. It's all about family here in Mojam and they bring families even on set. This is Severo from Severo Music Studios with the Wannenbergs. Awesome. Oh. Madam Knowles, how does it feel to finally be in a big Hollywood film? 
It feels awesome. It feels really amazing. You know, it's my first role ever, and it's kind of small, but at least you know it's something to, you know, I know I was there. All right, but uh, what did you think of the trailer though? Because I mean, none of us saw it. And oh my god, the trailer was amazing. I, I was like, play it again, play it again. But for the third time, I didn't want to, so I was like, okay. But it was, it was amazing. All right, and uh, we are most certainly proud as well to see you um, not just do this, but you also uh, in you deep in the modeling career, right? And so, what made you think, you know? Acting could also f uh, f fall into that role. Uh, actually, um, acting is my main career, but modeling is so much easier to get. You know what I mean? It's like you can go there, you can go there, you get modeling quickly. Acting, getting a role is much harder. Um, so yeah, so acting is actually my main, my main thing. But I do enjoy modeling. Wow, that's I guess I mean I didn't know. It's, it's only the things you find on Instagram, right? This is me, Savannah so Music Studios with Nick and Nels here at the Blue Patel. Uh, uh, Studios. Now we are speaking to one of the, again, to one of the main actors that's even appearing on the poster. But before we even get to the poster, how do you feel about the trailer, man? Yeah, dude, I'm still, I'm still overwhelmed. Like, just seeing that and seeing the work that... Is that Spear, man? Oh, man. <laughs> man, I heard that he was the one that had to Spear be in the trailer. Right. And I wasn't the one that actually, you know, they didn't show that. But, yo, I'm grateful. It's been a year, 365 days. Uh, the work is finally paying off, man. I'm excited for the people to see this movie it's gonna be epic I mean it's been a year for everyone now uh, since this project has finished so how do you think it's now seeing the the, the, the trailer how do you think the movie is gonna fare man oh man I know definitely the whole movie is going to be epic uh, and you know the, for me the doors is open even people didn't even see this yet and now they're going to see this so this is just gonna take the expectation level higher so I'm very excited I'm grateful to be here and your people's gonna be blown away bro. we are grateful to you and grateful to all the other talents of our local community. Severo Music Studios signing out of this one right here. Severo Music Studios, we are back again with some more reactions from uh, the Blue Petal 2 trailer. I'm standing here with someone who's been in Severo Music Studios a couple of times, as well as this beautiful lady beside him. It is great to see you guys tonight. And uh, tell me, and you're all looking beautiful. Tell me, what did you think of the trailer tonight? Um, for me, it was mind blowing. Yeah. Yeah. Real international standard, um, definitely. I mean, how did you guys even know about this? So, I am the neighbor of Justin Bardens, and we basically, like, family. We became friends eight years ago, and I mean, it's only but a blessing to see them grow from thing to thing. Yeah. So, my husband and I said, no, we're definitely not going to miss this. It's quite exciting. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised, actually, that you're not in the film yourself. <laughs> Um, no okay, comment. There's, there's, there's moments of <laughs> not right there. <laughs> no. ah. But I mean, uh, we can expect to see you guys at the premiere as well. Definitely. We have just more, please, um, residents right here for Blue Patel to Severe Music Studios, standing with MJ. And Nicole. Yeah. <laughs> This whole night has been about a movie, and in the movie business, we would say, that's a wrap. And what a night indeed. Everyone was so excited. Everyone was so impressed by the trailer. I can't tell you myself how pumped I was during the entire thing, including the performances from Mr. MP, from Arlene Peterson, our, our brilliant MC, and everyone who took care of sound and lighting. Everything came together in one harmonious symphony. And that is what uh, is going to be brought forward in the upcoming movie. So I'd like to thank Mr. Mark Matrius and everyone uh, uh, of the cast of Plut to everyone that was involved for also inviting me. We are presenting tonight in association with Mojams, uh, Mojam Films and Alex K Visuals. I'm Severo from Severo Music Studios. Everyone God bless. One rhythm, one life.